On a cold, windswept morning in December 1903, two brothers from Dayton, Ohio, Wilbur and Orville Wright, stood beside a strange contraption of wood, cloth and courage on the dunes of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. For three years, they had toiled in obscurity, testing gliders, recording wind data and inventing new controls in a world that still believed manned flight was fantasy. At 10.35 a.m., Orville lay flat on the flyer's lower wing, steadying his hands on crude levers. The homemade 12-horsepower engine roared to life. The propellers, hand-carved in their bicycle shop, spun furiously, and the craft lurched forward along a wooden rail. For 12 seconds, the world changed. The flyer lifted off the ground and soared 120 feet through the air, just long enough to prove that human flight was possible. Wilbur followed with three more attempts, the last lasting 59 seconds and covering 852 feet. The brothers embraced, laughing and shouting into the Carolina wind. No reporters, no cheering crowds, just two men and a dream finally realized. Their invention introduced three axis control, allowing pilots to steer up and down, side to side and roll in balance a principle that remains at the heart of every airplane today. From those humble dunes, the age of flight was born. The Wright brothers, once simple bicycle makers, had done what humanity had dreamed of for centuries. They taught the world to fly.